it's the seventh generation Sonata, uh, so we're very excited to have it here. And it's all new for the 2015 model year. Okay, so how is this, what improvements have you made? over the previous generation? That's a great question. So there's been a lot of uh, enhancements to our Sonata. So over our previous model, we got an all new exterior sheet metal, bumpers, everything else, wheel designs, all new interior. Suspension has been heavily revised. So um, it's got a much more premium ride. It's got better handling feel, and it's got much more structural rigidity to the vehicle as well. So dimensions of the vehicle, uh, have they changed any? Uh, they, they changed slightly. Now the overall length of the vehicle is about 1.4 inches longer. And, but more importantly, the width is about 1.2 inches longer to give it a more planted, stable look. Can you go through kind of the models? What are the mod trim levels? Ah, uh, yeah. no. Yeah, so right now we offer the vehicle in four trim levels for the 2015 model year. You have your SE trim, which is the base. Then you have your Sport, which has a lot of the Sport exterior items such as a different front grille, lower bumper insert, uh, dual exhaust on the rear. And then you have your limited trim, which has uh, a chrome grille, leather, leather interior, uh, push button start, the standard, blind spot detection is standard. Then you have your Sport 2.0 T model, which, is, which has all the Sport exterior items. In addition, it has a dedicated interior. So uh, D-cut steering wheel, more aggressively bolstered leather seats, aluminum pedals, and then the last trim is our Eco Trim. The Eco Trim is very exciting. It's our 1.6 liter turbo GDI four cylinder, uh, made it to a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Okay, so that's a new smaller motor and a new transmission for the Eco. Yes, exactly. So that's our. And when is the Eco coming? I mean, is it going to be rolled out later or is it available now? Uh, the Eco will be uh, at, at dealerships starting September. So it comes a little bit later. Right now, all the 2.4 liter models. So the SC, Sport, and Limiteds are available at dealerships. Uh, the two, Sport 2.0T models will be available in August, and the Eco will be available in September. There's three uh, powertrains available on the 2015 Sonata. The base engine is a 2.4 liter gasoline direct injected four cylinder uh, that's mated to our six speed automatic transmission. Horsepower is rated at 185 and uh, torque is 178 pound foot of torque. So the performance engine is a 2.0 liter twin scroll turbo gasoline direct injected four cylinder. Uh, horsepower on that is rated at 204, 245 horsepower and 260 pound foot of torque. And is that different from the previous generation? Is it how does it differ from the previous? Uh, from the model? previous generation, uh, horsepower is down slightly and torque is down slightly. But more importantly, for everyday driving, um, torque now kicks in earlier. So at about 1500 RPMs, you get 20% more torque than the outgoing model, model for better drivability, so everyday just drivability. tuned a little bit more usable power down low. Exactly. Okay. More usable power down low. And now, what about the 1.6? Now, we have our new 1.6 liter uh, turbo gasoline direct injected four cylinder that is our high fuel economy model uh, so the horsepower on that vehicle is 177 horsepower and 195 pound for the torque 195 pound for the torque fuel economy numbers on that vehicle is 28 city 38 highway and 32 mpg combined which is segment leading for non-diesel non-hybrid mid-size car <laughs> pick one favorite feature on the car, on the new car, what would be the, your favorite? Wow, there's so many features on this car. Everything from active safety to forward collision warning to just the D-cut steering wheel on the Sport 2.0 T models. Mm -hmm. um, but if I had to say one thing is my favorite thing about this car, it's just the general core capabilities of it, core fundamentals, how it rides. So the ride quality is very premium on this vehicle. It feels like it's the segment above. Mm -hmm. 
more like a newer luxury car than a mid-sized car. Ride quality and also the, the lack of noise inside the cabin. Yeah, I noticed that on the way here, how, you know, on the highway it's really quiet. Yes. You close your windows and it's a very nice ride. <laughs> Oh, the smart trunk feature is actually a very innovative system that Hyundai introduced with our Genesis model. Okay. It's basically any car is equipped with a proximity key and push button start. Um, all you have to do is, let's say for example, you have things, your, both your hands are occupied with boxes or whatnot. So all you would have to do is you would have, you would, with the proximity key in your pocket or your purse if you're a female, you would just stand behind the vehicle for about three seconds. It will give three beeps and then the trunk will pop open about halfway for you. So it's easy for you to just lift it up with a box, set down whatever you have to set down. Now that's a, that's a more user-friendly system than let's say um, a kick sensor where you have to balance yourself on one leg when both hands are occupied. Okay. And what about the interior, some of the infotainment features? Uh, have they changed or what, what have you added there? Oh, the infotainment system is completely uh, revised for this vehicle. So the multimedia units, so we have our base audio, which is a monochrome color standard audio. But all trims except for the SE trim are equipped with a 5-inch color touchscreen LCD audio system. Uh, and all trims have an 8-inch navigation system op option. Okay. The navigation system is where all the excitement comes in for, in regards to technology. It has, uh, is, is able to connect to a Wi-Fi network um, to download apps such as Pandora Internet Audio, SoundHound, AHA Radio later on in the year. And also uh, Apple CarPlay and Google Auto integration, smartphone integration will be offered on that vehicle on navigation equipped models as well. And is that part of the, is there a package? Is it, what is the ultimate package? Uh, what does it include? Is it like a sunroof or a navigation? So the ultimate package is, uh, we have two ultimate packages. We have an ultimate package on the limited trim and the ultimate package on the Sport 2.0T model. On the limited trim, the ultimate package is basically um, active safety features. So a lane departure warning system, forward collision warning, um, a smart cruise control with full stop capability. So that's a part of the ultimate package. On the 2.0T, the ultimate package has everything from navigation, panoramic sunroof, and the active safety features that I mentioned a little while ago. So we have a blind spot detection uh, system that's available on the majority of Sonatas. Now, once the blind spot detection system uses radars, two radars that are located in the rear trunk area, the thing is, most blind spot detection systems only looks at the blind spot. Uh, our system looks beyond just the blind spot to see if there's a car that's coming, approaching on that either lane at a high rate of speed. Based on that speed, it senses whether it's safe for you to change lanes at that particular time or not. And we call that our lane change assist function. Uh, the starting MSRP for the vehicle is $21,150 for the base SE trim. Uh, just for reference, that's $300 lower than our outgoing Sonata model while adding more content. So features such as LED daytime running lights, height adjustable passenger seat, drivers in the airbag. So we added features while taking down the price. Uh, fully loaded, the, limited, the Sport 2.0T with Ultimate Package comes in at $33,575. And so for in regards to exterior design, what we really wanted to do was look within. Uh, I think a lot of people would agree our previous generation Sonata was the segment leader in design. Um, it really kind of changed the landscape of the mid-size car segment. So instead of looking at competitors on how we want our design to be, we looked at within. 
So a lot of the key elements from the previous generation has been carried over to this new model, such as the chrome strip that runs from the door belt line all the way to the headlights, the raked C-pillar. But at the same time, we wanted to make the vehicle more modern looking, more premium uh, looking. And so it's more precise, it's got more control in its design language. So we really looked from within. From a driving perspective, we looked at Accord and Passat. Uh, we felt those were good benchmark competitors in regards to ride refinement. Um, and that's what we targeted. Okay. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you very much, much Andre. Okay. <laughs>